Hallo zusammen, I'm your Vlog Dave. My latest spontaneous German lesson. Well, I played a Gario and I decided to teach you some German words while playing along. Basically led me to this video. Today I want to introduce you to the German world of colors and how you can refer to them. The color is die Farbe, singular, die Farben, plural. When you refer to color as a noun, you always use the neuter article das, das rot, das blau, etc. And you also have to spell the color with a capital letter, since this counts for all German nouns. Rhyme, rhyme. Das blau is the color blue. In case you refer to a color as an adjective, you spell it in small letters and you might have to flectate it. So blau might turn to blaue. For instance in die blaue Hose, the blue trousers. Here are a few examples of colors in German. Schwarz, black, weiß, white. And uh, nope, I don't really want to argue about the question whether black and white are colors by definition. I just want to teach you the German words. Yep. Grau, gray, braun, brown, rot, red, orange, orange, gelb, yellow, grün, green. Blau, blue, turquoise, turquoise, violet, or rather colloquial, lila, violet, to only name a few ones. Germans often refer to pink as pink, but the actual German equivalent for pink would be rosa. Let's move on to the descriptive side of colors. So when you look at something that is very colorful or that consists of multiple colors at the same time, you can refer to that thing or that object as being bunt, colorful. Dieses Hemd ist sehr bunt. This shirt is very colorful. You could also distinguish between something being either einfarbig, unicolored, or mehrfarbig, multicolored. When you like a certain color, you might refer to it as being schön, beautiful. And when you rather dislike a color, you might say it looks hässlich, ugly. Dieses Rot ist schön. This red is beautiful. Dieses Braun ist hässlich. This brown is ugly. When an object is made up of, well, let's say two different single colors, you can basically connect the two color adjectives with a hyphen to one. Der Teppich ist rot-grün. The carpet is red and green, or red-green. In addition to that, you could also refer to the pattern of a colored object. Der Teppich ist gelb-blau kariert. The carpet is yellow-blue checkered. Man, what an ugly carpet that is. Here are some adjectives to describe different patterns. Gestreift, striped, kariert, checkered or played, quer, diagonal, diagonally, uh, McGonagall. No, no, nope. Gekreuzt, crossed, gerundet or rund, rounded or round. You could also distinguish between different colors by referring to their brightness, die Helligkeit. It's common to directly add those adjectives right in front of the respected colors. You basically create a compound word. For instance, one type of blue might be called light or bright blue, hellblau, whereas another type of blue is considered rather dark blue, dunkelblau. So it's hell, light or bright, versus dunkel, dark. 
When something reminds you of a certain color or when an object only has a slightly visible color, you could also add the suffix lich to color adjectives. So it's rötlich, reddish, bläulich, bluish, gelblich, yellowish and grünlich, greenish. Make sure to spell rötlich with the umlaut ö and bläulich with the umlaut ä. Certain colored objects might appear rather pale, weak, dull or matte. You can refer to those objects or the actual color by saying something like matt, matt or blass, pale. Dieses Grün sieht sehr blass aus. This green looks very pale. Other colors or colored objects might shine a lot. You can refer to them with the German verb glänzen, to shine or to be polished. Dieses rote Auto glänzt sehr stark. This red car shines quite a lot. And even though drinking glasses might be pigmented, they still remain transparent. Transparent. A color might also look intensive or intensely. You might say that color is gesättigt, farbintensiv or just intensive in general. There are times when a certain color almost makes you blind by simply looking at it, because der Farbton, shade of color, is quite extreme. Many Germans would describe such a color being grell, glarish or glaring. In this context you might also come across a phrase like das sticht aber ins Auge, which means something like this really steps into the eye or diese Farbe sticht aber richtig ins Auge. This color really steps right into the eye. Yeah. It basically says that this particular color is very, very much in the foreground, very prominent and it, it evokes attention because of its extreme characteristics. Last but not least, you might also come across rather specific descriptions of colors that might differ from the standard words such as yellow or gray. So a dark yellow might be described as gold, gold, that looks golden. Das sieht golden aus. Or a certain grey reminds you of silver. Silber. This looks silvery. Das sieht silbrig or silbern aus. Take the German flag, for example. Germans would refer to it as schwarz, rot, gold and not schwarz, rot, gelb. <sighs> Alright, I think this should do for now. What did you already know? What did you already know about this topic? What is your favorite color and how do you say your favorite color in German? Find links to my social media pages and support options such as PayPal or Patreon for this channel in the video description down below. Thanks for watching. I'm your vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.